Hi guys, welcome to the Dancer's Book and North Shore Dance Society. My name is Alexander Bonnet and in today's video I'm going to talk about the jive. I will be talking about bounce action versus hopping. I hope you enjoyed the video, stay with me. Alright guys, jive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate the basic two different ways and then after that I will break it down and I will explain why one is better than the other. Often what we see is this. The main problem with what I just did is that all of our energy is going up and we are starting to do a lot of hopping instead of what's extremely important when dancing jive is all the energy to go down especially from the leg power all right guys so for the most of you that are dancing jive you probably already know the jive has started partially from the rock and roll one of the things that significantly change over time is the music as itself. So the music became much faster, the music started giving a bit more opportunities for demonstrating speed and quality of movement. And there you go, we have the jive. Now, uh, the timing in jive, something very important. So the timing in jive is a full beat, three quarter, quarter one, three quarter, quarter one. And once again, full beat, and we go for a three quarter, quarter one, three quarter, and quarter one. For one of the things that strikes me specifically is the hopping action. So, if you're a man, and if you're demonstrating the quality of your speed, if you're demonstrating the ability of ultimately lift to replace, lift to replace, I will buy it. But if you're a lady and if someone tells you lift your feet, lift your feet, um, here's the problem. I don't think that it's very lady lifting your feet much. For whatever reason, a lot of ladies nowadays are deciding that they should be hopping and jumping around the world, as a matter of fact and they start lifting their knees a lot they start dancing very high especially in a student level and i particularly do not enjoy that in my opinion if the ladies stick with the original uh, rock and roll idea and if they focus a bit more on the hip action that will become uh, much more efficient and much beautiful and feminine while they are moving. So, for example, there is a big difference between trying to hop between every step of yours, obviously creating a huge gaps in the leg area, um, versus, for example, focusing on a little more hip action. Now that I have explained what I don't like in terms of lifting the knees much, especially for the female dancers, I want to touch base with the technique book as itself. So the technique book tells us rock step backwards, chassis to the right, chassis to the left. And once again, rock step backwards, chassis to the right, chassis to the left. Rather simple. Now, what the technique books does not tell us, the beat value. And the beat value is one beat, one beat, three quarter, quarter one, three quarter, quarter one, and a different angle, one beat, one beat, three quarter, quarter one, three quarter, quarter one. And the other thing that the book is missing to tell us is that besides the beat value, besides the actual music that we have, we also have the internal body rhythm that we need to follow. Now, if we can synchronize all of these with the clear understanding that everything we do is being driven by the gravity and the entire compression needs to happen down towards the floor, then obviously our jive will become musically and gravitally much, much better quality. 
Probably one of the major issues is that most of the people that see Jaifas itself, they just look at it and then they try to dance it, it's being explained to them. They try to do what they see. They're trying to ultimately lift their knees, hop as much as they can without any quality whatsoever. Gravity is giving you compression down, everything obviously goes down. So with that being said, what jive dancers need to focus on is much more compressing down and have a clear understanding of connecting with the floor versus lifting as much as they can and staying very much so not grounded. For whatever reason, when people see a bounce action, they start taking all the energy out of the floor, away from the floor. But that's simply an illusion. Everything needs to go down. So to summarize what I just explained, when you're thinking of energy in Jive, you need to understand that everything goes down, down to earth versus going up. So everything always needs to compress down once again versus going up. The other thing that is extremely important, especially for the ladies, ladies, please don't hop as much as I have seen a lot of you doing so. It's not a hoppy dance, it's in fact very much so grounded dance. Gents, you have the abilities, use it. It's okay if you lift more than a female dancer as long as you're not wearing a skirt. Leave the up action for the upper body where we obviously need to be forward poised and create that idea of every step of ours. With that being said, thank you so much for watching my little Jive A video. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please click on the um, subscribe button below and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you and I will see you in the next video.